so I realized that I didn't really I didn't really say all that I needed to say um, in light of the job thing. I need to stop fidgeting. Um, so, I mean, yeah, you can just do jobs for the money, but what I was saying is, like, sometimes things are more important. Like, my manager has or her mom was a single mom when she was growing up and she and her mom put her and her sister through a pretty prestigious all girls private school um working two jobs and a lot of overtime and you know like two jobs and overtime while being a mom to two children doesn't sound that fun to me but you know in the same respect like there's some things that maybe you're not in love with certain aspects of the job, but it gives you other things, like I'm going into the Air Force, actually, so P.S. I won't be making videos starting February. I went to school for a year and I liked it, like I'm glad I went, but I was paying a lot of money for kind of doing stuff that maybe would lead to a career like all the things that I were kind of that I was kind of interested in um, were going to require a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of schooling to really become anything close to a career and I wasn't even really sure that that's what I wanted to do and if I had really gotten serious about it I definitely wouldn't have gone to the school that I was going to um, so it was more of just like college experience just to have the college experience so I enlisted, one, because I'm getting paid to, I'm buying time, really. Um, I'm getting paid to learn a trade that I didn't pick out myself. I'm going to be a signal intelligence person, um, so I will probably be in, you know, a cinder block with no windows, um, being a techie nerd with the top, top secret clearance. Woohoo! Um, and I definitely wouldn't have gone that route had I not enlisted, but, um, I think that it's going to give me some time to really figure out what I want to do, and it's going to give me some resources to do that, and it's not, like, a bummer. I'm excited. It's kind of my next adventure. It takes care of, like, my insurance, and I'm not going to be driving a car, so I'm able to, my brother just turned 16, so I'm giving my car to him which is exciting for him and it helps out my family and they're not going to really have to worry about me for a while um, which is nice because I feel like I've kind of been a burden to them for a while so there's that and um, I don't know it just it just takes care of a lot of stuff and I feel like some of my friends are really supportive and some of my friends are really against it and kind of kind of makes me sad, you know? So that's what I have to say about that. I mean, it's not it's not always just greed. It's not always just cuz you want to look good. Um I mean, if you want to do that, I mean, those are the people that like buy super nice cars and live, you know, in a shoebox. Um you know, there's there's exceptions to the rule is what I'm trying to say. As for the marriage thing, I actually um, referred to one of my friends, but I cut it out because I was afraid that I was making the video too long. But you made a 10 minute video, so no limits. No limits today. Your friend situation sounds like just what I meant when I said that you feel the pressure of friends and family and then you don't communicate properly and you get kind of you force yourself into something that you're not ready for, that you're not really sure about. Um, scary! Um, I wish the best for her. Um, but my friend actually, um, got out of a situation like that. She was engaged to this guy, and it was just, like, a whole series of events that just weren't, weren't good, and, um, I think she just really realized she wasn't ready to get married, and 
if she was going to get married, she shouldn't get married to this person, and, uh, like, almost whenever I talk to her, I'm like, can I just, can I just reiterate how happy I am that you did not marry that person? I'm so glad you are not married right now. And I think that it's really helped her in that she's, she's grown from it, and uh, she's realized that she needs to deal with some stuff, so it's good. As for my personal opinion on dating, it's pretty vague. I mean, the rules have kind of changed fairly recently, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. So, I mean, there's that. And psh! Yeah, celebrities, their lives are a total game of perception. But if you think about it, like, uh, I can't remember who said it, but there was a comment about how, um, maybe it was Sylvie, talking about how really popular YouTube people are kind of like celebrities, and what you said about how celebrities choose how they're um, perceived. And if you think about it, YouTube people have that option because they're recording themselves and so they edit and they can look the way they want and they can, you know, like, add in stuff and make them seem funnier, make them seem whatever. And so since you're deciding how you're going to be perceived, like, I, I feel like it's, like, even more powerful because it's, like, there's not even paparazzi to catch you looking bad, you know? You know what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down. P.S. Don't judge this action right here. I'm cleaning out my closet because I live in the guest room and... So, yeah. Don't judge. As for identifying with certain struggles and really fighting for usually ones similar to your own, I don't know. The whole equal rights argument just pisses me off because... The argument is religious and the separation of church and state really is like, hey, it's not, your whole argument doesn't really count. But anyways, um, when I was at I have at least two of my like really, really good friends are Jewish and not until last year did I really realize that there's still anti-semitism, which I really, like, when I first realized that, it was like, wow, really? We're still there, huh? Like, it's kind of depressing that we haven't really moved on. So I guess that's one of the things that I really fight for, but, um, I don't even know if that's really answering your question. I love that you talked about, I think it was 1984, yes, because your video reminded me of Animal Farm, especially with the whole pets thing, because I get you, I, get, I got you on the pets, um, but I, um, the whole, like, when Maine decided that gays can get married, I put my Facebook status as all animals are equal, but more, but some animals are more equal than others, because it's so true in so many different ways, and like, maybe that should just always be my status, because it's how the world works, apparently. Okay, bye!